I'm uh, Member of Parliament Mark Warwa in beautiful Langley, British Columbia, and I have with me today Elizabeth and Michael Pratt. We're at the dedication of a new cenotaph uh, in the Derrick Doubleday Arboretum. It was uh, 158 trees are being planted here to, uh, to honor the 158 uh, brave Canadians that have lost their lives. And, um, and now today, uh, the federal government is committed to fund $50,000 for the building of a new cenotaph to, to be part of this beautiful um, facility. Now, this, this has come from a vision that uh, Elizabeth and Michael, you two have uh, had this vision of one day seeing something like this. How did that happen? Well, uh, two summers ago now, my dad and I, we went on a trip to Europe and um, we toured around France and we saw, especially in Juno Beach, they had hundreds of memorials for all the uh, fallen soldiers who died in World War II and World War I. And I thought that was a really good idea. And I just wanted to have a way to commemorate the soldiers who died in my lifetime and wars that I would remember. So I uh, thought that was a great idea, brought it home, talked to my sister and my dad about it, and it just kind of took off from there. And Elizabeth has her own reasons why she'd want to get involved in this. And so it was, it was, it was perfect timing. Perfect. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. So my reason uh, would be, I think it was five years ago now, I went to Nova Scotia and was a performer at the Royal Nova Scotia International Tattoo. And I was so taken aback by how close in age some uh, many of the, uh, the Canadian soldiers that have already returned from a, uh, a mission already, and how young they were and how they were sacrificing their life at my age. So I figured oh, I better do something. If they're sacrificing their life, I better do something to at least commemorate that. So Michael and my idea meshed, and we decided to do something like this. Elizabeth, how old are you? I'm 21. So uh, these soldiers that have given up their lives for Canada, how old are they? Many of them are 21, tw uh, 22. There was a young man from Langley who um, who passed away in Afghanistan, and he was quite young as well. I knew him from when we were young. So. Well, that was my point. They're the same age as, as you and, and Michael, uh, soon you. Um, and it's very young. Uh, we think of veterans, but they're, they're not old. These, uh, these uh, Canadians that lost their lives and have now come back from Afghanistan are your ages. And uh, we see on the news uh, young people uh, being portrayed as, as rioting um, and creating problems. But uh, we don't often see the incredible work of people like uh, the two of you that have visions that create a, a, better, a, a better Canada. And so I want to thank you so much for your vision and acting on it and making Canada a better place. And uh, so what's your next project? Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully nothing that needs to be uh, remembering people that sacrifice lives, but... Um, We'll see. That's kind of in the works still. Maybe we'll talk to Michael about that. <laughs> okay, Michael, any ideas? Uh, well, uh, hopefully just the continuation of this and uh, the maintenance of this and to see it uh, in Langley for uh, many years to come. Thank you. Well, apparently uh, the, of the 158 trees, how many have been sold? We have 120 so far, so we need 38 more. Well, if, uh, if you would like to make a donation, uh, contact the Township of Langley. Parks Department, and you too can make a donation. What does it cost to buy a tree? Uh, to buy one tree and for the maintenance of that tree, it's $300. $300, and do you get a receipt for that? Yes, uh, there should be information on the website, and if you make a personal donation, then there's a tax uh, receipt that comes out of it. If it's a corporate donation, there's different rules that apply. Right, so if you make a personal donation, you would your name would be put on a plaque to recognize that you've provided that tree for this uh, incredible place and uh, you get a tax deductible receipt uh, which means you get a lot of the money right back from the federal government so keep that uh, think about that and uh, maybe you too want to be involved with this incredible facility so thank you so much god bless you and uh, we look forward to continued good work from the both of you thank you